Warren Buffett shows that he is the master of value trading when the stock market goes down. Many investors like Michael Burry, Ray Dalio, and Jamie Dimon think we're just getting started in a much bigger slump because the SP 500 is down more than 20% by 2022. You probably want to know more, but first, please like and follow. This will help us keep the service going. So let's look at five lessons we can learn from Buffett that will help us get better results on our investments when the market goes down. Warren began his don't panic talk by saying things that don't make sense can last for a long time, but they end in the end. This has to do with the internet. A boom was formed when companies were sold for billions of dollars with no real chance of making any money, he said. And based on what we've seen so far, the years long bull run is ending. Let's look at the list now. Don't get too excited about leaving a good business too quickly. Warren said that some people shouldn't own stocks because price changes make them angry. In the case of selling a house, he said, if you're going to do stupid things because your stock goes down, you shouldn't own stock at all, you don't sell it. Because someone gave you a quote, you look at the house and then make a smart choice. Some people may not be emotionally or mentally ready to own stocks, but Warren thinks that if you learn about what you're buying, which is part of a business and hold on to stocks for a longer time, they become less risky, while bonds become riskier as they mature. According to Buffett, Mr. Market by Ben Graham is like a nosy neighbor who pokes his head over the fence every day and makes you an offer on your house. One day he offers $800,000 and the next day he's sad and thinks the real estate market might crash and offers $300,000. Will you sell him your house? Of course not. You go inside and keep going, the stock market is the same. If someone else will pay you less, why sell a piece of a great company? That's really crazy. The stock market is the only place where investors run out of the store during a sale, says another Buffett quote in the next lesson. This makes no sense at all. So don't be that person who sells a stock when the facts haven't changed. Get rid of the company if the price drop is caused by something that will make it impossible for the business to make money in the future and it no longer makes sense to hold on to it. Focus on what was left out instead of what was done. The market does drop sometimes, but not very often because of big events. The last big one was in 2008. Some might say that was a big one, but it only made the prices of companies more fair. After that, most businesses become very cheap, like in 2001 and 2002. That's about two good chances every six years, which is pretty damn rare. Warren is also known for this third lesson. I've always thought that I should only expect to make money in things I understand. And by understand, I don't mean how the product works or anything like that. I mean, I know what the businesses or the country's economics will be like in a few years. The internet will not change how people chew gum. It will only change which gum they chew, he said about RJ Reynolds and the internet. Like if you have double mint, spearmint, and juicy fruit, and you really own the gum market, those names will be around for a long time. This means I can't say for sure what the numbers on Wrigley's will be, but if I try to guess, I should be pretty close. It's within what I call my circle of competence to judge that company. I know how the business works from an economic and a competitive point of view. During a market crash, a lot of companies will file for bankruptcy. So this is very important advice. In the past, airlines, travel companies, and cruise lines were in the news. Today, though, the companies that are making news are fast-growing tech companies. But if you don't understand a business, you should never put money into it, even if it's very cheap now. It looked so cheap that you could have bought Bear or Lehman, but that wouldn't have worked out, would it? When the market crashes, you should first make sure you understand the companies because they are cheap. The fourth item on the list is now here, Warren said, Ben Graham taught me to buy things in large amounts, so I looked for what I call cigar butts of stocks. Taking the cigar butt method to investing in stocks is like looking for cigarettes on the street and finding this awful, wet, ugly cigar, you take a puff after picking it up. Totally gross. It's free, or at least cheap, to throw away. Then you look for another wet cigarette to puff on. It's so much easier to buy great businesses at a good price. That's what I did for years, and it was a mistake. Now, I'd rather buy a great business at a fair price than a good business at a fair price. But I bought cheap stocks back then when Berkshire sold its shares for less than its working capital per share. You got the plants, tools, inventory, and receivables for less than they were worth. It's good to work for a pretty business because time is its friend. Plus, it keeps growing, bringing in more business, and giving you more money. This is the enemy of bad business, Warren said. One of the ideas we learned from Warren in our last class was about setting long-term goals. You know you'll see things you won't believe in your lifetime, and the stock market is no different, he said. Long term, the country will do very well, but there will be these big waves. You will get rich without having to be very smart if you can stay neutral during that and emotionally separate yourself from the crowd. But you want to know something? It takes more than brains. It takes character. When the market goes down, the more people who try to leave at the same time, the faster it goes down. That means you need to not worry about next week or next month 
and know that the money you put into the market will be there for years to come. If you can stick to that, investing during market crashes will be a lot easier. Just keep an eye on the long run. That's all of Buffett's five tips for getting through a rough market downturn. Here are some general tips. Never sell in a hurry. Seize opportunities when they come up. Know what you're buying. Choose good companies over cheap ones. And remember to keep your eyes on the long run. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps the station. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.